Oh, <laughs> hi. Hi, my name is Emma Miller, and since I was 13 years old, I've been addicted to gay men. When I think about gay men, I, I just get a warm feeling inside. I can't even fully describe it. I see like a queen. I just want to go up to them. You know what I mean? And normally I do. I normally run up and I'm like, yes, queen. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just talking to my new friend, uh, Blake. Uh, I met him on Grindr. And, uh, I think he might be my new like GBF. Um, oh, got a dick pic. Okay, really hairy. Next, I, I do have a grinder account on my phone. I've used um, <clears throat> like Big Daddy 101, Little Elf Twink 265, Pipe Dream, like Pipe. You know, he's 23. Um, he lives in Manhattan, which is great because that means he's only like you know. A hop, skip, and a jump away from me. I chat them and I meet them. I mean, I wouldn't call it like catfishing. Um, oh, he sent me a photo. He looks cute. Whenever they ask me for a photo, I just send them uh, this one of Liza Minnelli, and I always say that it's me in drag. But when they say, oh, but like, what about you as a man? Um, I send them uh, this one of Liberace. And they honestly usually believe me. It's kind of weird. Um, they don't know who those people are, which means they can't be my GBF. Hi, uh, my name's Will, and I am Emma's GBF. The first year that I went to Pride with Emma was 2014. She death dropped in front of a parade float and she cracked her head open. And that's when I knew that she had a problem. Being Emma's GBF, <laughs> it's a full-time job. She's always asking me to kiki with her. She's always asking me to go see the latest Broadway show with her. I've been to see the boys in the band on Broadway with her at least nine times. I mean, I know that she goes every night. I don't know how she hasn't gone bankrupt yet. I mean, she doesn't even have a job. It's a little bit overwhelming when I'm uh, hanging out with her. She doesn't stop looking at me. She doesn't stop touching me. She doesn't stop breathing in my face. And I mean, sometimes I want to say, Emma, relax, girlfriend. But then <laughs> we go shopping together and everything's better. Is the sound working? Is, is, the, sound, is the sound working? <laughs> Um, so I'm, I've secured a meetup with uh, Blake from Grindr, um, and we're going to my favorite little East Village coffee place around the corner, so um, I'm really excited to meet him. Whenever I see a queen, um, whether it be, you know, I'm walking down the street, or whether it be like, you know, my GBF, whenever I see a queen, I immediately know, you know what I mean? Because I have great gaydar. Like, I have the max gaydar. Of course, I like to listen to the voice. Like, if it sounds like everything they're saying is like a question, I'm like, <laughs> yes. Like, if they're like, me. <laughs> hey, sir, sir. Yeah, that bitch was insane. I thought it was meeting with a 55-year-old CEO and ended up being that bitch in a wig. She didn't even say anything to me. She just looked at me across the table and whispered, yes, queen. Anyway, can, can you guys send this to me? I, I'm actually an actor and, um, well, you know, I might use it for my reel sometime or something. So, um, yeah, anyway, my Instagram's Waken Blake and my Twitter handle is at Blake Sexier Than You. So, give me a call sometime. Bye. Blake is ever 
everything. Oh my god. Okay, I know he wants me. Did you see the way he cuffed his jeans? Like, it doesn't get any better than this. It doesn't. When I was in third grade, I had my first kiss with James McNeil. Six years later, he came out as gay. I consider that my greatest accomplishment. So, um, obviously, we're here in the West Village, uh, mainly because, you know, we're bound to meet, like, a few friends of Dorothy, you know what I'm saying? There are many different kinds of guys here. Like, there are the old queens who, are, you know, live in the Roundstones on um, the West Village, but they're also uh, the new to the city uh, NYU twinks. To let them know that I'm an ally, uh, I like to tape this photo over Paul uh, to my chest. Um, and then also, if they're seeing me from behind, I like to uh, give them, like, a little sneak peek as well. So, a little message for them over there. Uh, so I'm so excited. Let's see who we can meet. Okay, let's go. Excuse me, excuse me, sir? Um, I just have a, hi, are you gay? I'm just wondering. No. Well, okay, fuck that, bye. Oh, hey, I love Whitney, gone too soon. No. I hate lesbians. No, this isn't for you. No, 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 no. My first queen was when I was five years old. He was a waiter at the Applebee's by my house. I so distinctly remember just the way he sashayed the restaurant. I was just deceased. Oh my god, he was serving Luke's as well as my food. Emma, that's, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. Uh, yeah, no, it was it was a sunny day. It was cloudy, um, just normal. We were hungry, wanted to go to Applebee's. It was right down the street from our house. We get there and we sit down, and this guy comes over. She saw him, and she got up, and she had to dance. I was just trying to sit there and eat my Southwest chicken salad and my blooming onion, and there she was, out blooming with our waiter. She has fallen so far, so fast. saw it coming, I don't know, it, there were signs. I miss the 12 year old girl she once was, you know? When Emma was around 14, our parents had gotten divorced. Emma lost her mind. She was convinced that our dad had left our mom for another man. She pulls up to his condo and she is convinced that his college roommate Jim is in there. His new wife answered the door. She fell into such a depression, I don't think. I've ever seen somebody that empty inside. I mean, all her hopes, all her dreams, ever since she was five years old at that Applebee's, just like completely shattered. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, I'm sorry. Are either of you gay? I'm sorry. Are you fucking seeing this? Okay. Okay, well there's no one who's really like suitable for my um, kind of like GBF lifestyle. You know what? It's gonna be good. Let's just go get a drink somewhere. We're just gonna go get a drink. Well, it was June 26th, 2015. Gay marriage was legalized. My heart stopped. I was legally dead for a few seconds. But then I woke up and I knew exactly where I had to go. And that was the historic Stonewall Inn. So I get there and I, I'm living. I'm 
kikiing, I just smacked her across the face. And out of my peripheral vision, I see a wig flying, but not in a good way this time. The next thing I know, I'm in handcuffs. They're throwing me against the hood of the car. And before I know it, I'm banned. And I mean, I don't want to like drag her, except I guess I literally did drag her. Can you not, can you not film me right now? Can you please stop? Stop filming! I don't consider myself an ally. Um, I consider myself more of a member in training. You know, I'm just, I'm sort of like a blonde, skinnier Liza Minnelli. <laughs> oh, one time, I went to the Stardust Diner. You know, the one where they sing. Uh, and I made a reservation under L. Manelli. I'm in a fucking car. You should have seen the little pack of queens that came up to me. And they all thought I was her. Mama. Mama Roo. I'm a musical theater actress by day. And going to auditions is really hard for me. When I'm in the waiting room, gaze everywhere. When the monitor calls my name with that gorgeous little lisp, I nearly faint. But then, when I get into the actual room to sing my song, and there's that gorgeous little old alpha queen behind the table, I choke up every time. It makes me too emotional to continue. I didn't choose this life. I was born this way.